Hello, and thank you for joining me for this tutorial video. Today we'll be going over the Dose Vision software and the capabilities it has to offer. If you have any questions by the end of this tutorial, please feel free to email me or someone on the team and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Dose Vision is a Windows application used to transfer dose history data from the Traceco PEDs to a computer and view the data in graph form. Dose Vision is also used to change settings such as alarm settings and assign the PED to users. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to go ahead and open up the Dose Vision software and connect the PED using the micro USB or via the charging dock if you have a PED IS. As you can see, this takes about five seconds for everything to start populating for you. And on this home page, what you're going to see is the type of PED you're going to be using, who the PED is assigned to, and the serial number of the PED. So we want to go ahead and go into the settings and start setting up the PED. On the left hand side you're going to see the alarm options which as you may have already guessed this is going to allow you to set up the alarms on the PED. You have the option of either two or four dose alarm levels. If fewer alarms are required set two or more alarm levels to the same level. The PED Plus and the ER Plus are the only two PEDs that will allow you to display pop-up messages when an alarm is triggered. Then we have the dose alarm levels. As mentioned before, you have the option of either two or four alarm levels. For four alarm levels, you will see four different colors, which will be yellow, amber, red, and crimson. If only three alarm levels are required, set the red and crimson alarms to the same value. If there's only one red alarm that is required, then the software will allow you to set the red and the amber alarm to the same value. The logging options are found on the bottom left, and these define how data is recorded. The PEDs record the accumulated dose every minute. Tracego recommends using intelligent logging in low dose rate areas, as periodic logging would result in many data points without changes, and therefore unnecessary memory usage. Use periodic logging only if the PEDs are deployed in areas where the dose rate is consistently above background level and rapid dose rate fluctuations are not anticipated. The software will allow periodic logging every 5, 10, 30, and 60 seconds. The PEDs record the accumulated dose for every 0 0.001 millirem change in dose. In normal circumstances, the intelligent logging uses the memory the most efficiently and will automatically be set as the default data logging mode when you purchase the device. Going back to the top to the right of the alarm settings, you will find a few PED options. You can include or exclude these to your liking. Discrete mode enables the user to set the PEDs to silent with no flashing LEDs. Peak and dose rate reset will allow the option to reset the peak dose rate value and the accumulated dose value. Log reset allows the option to delete the currently logged data on the PED. Screen select will allow the user to select this display mode. And the calibration reminder will of course display a calibration reminder for you. By default, this is only enabled on the PEDIS. If you wish to have this already set by the time you receive your PED, please notify us so we can go ahead and have this set for you. The settings will also allow you to change the unit of measurement to millirem or microsieverts, as well as changing the time zone. Now that you've set up your settings, you can save these settings by exporting them and saving them. Click on the export settings button, and this will allow you to go ahead and save your settings. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and name it demo. These settings will now be saved in Dose Vision, and if for some reason you accidentally mess up the settings or you want to set up a new PED, all you have to do is click on the Import Settings button, click on the name of the settings, and then boom, everything is back to how it should be. The Tracego PEDs are supplied without password protection, but you can set an administrator password in the software. Please note that passwords are associated with PEDs and not users. Subsequent connection of a PED with password protection does not require password entry as a password is cached on the computer and in the software. Not having a password will allow any user to perform administrator access level functions on the connected PED such as clearing dose data and setting alarm levels. Now let's move on to the users tab. On this page you'll be able to see who's assigned to the PED as well as other users. You can add users and you can delete them as well. 
So for the purpose of this tutorial video, let's go ahead and add a user. On the top left side, click on Add User, put in the username, click OK, and then the details form is going to go ahead and populate for you. So put in the first name, the last name, the location of the user, the name of the organization, and the employee number if there's one, and last but not least, the date of birth. Click OK, and if you want to assign it to this PED, click on Assign to PED, and it'll redirect you to the home page and update all the information for you. So as you can see, the PED has been assigned to K Vallejo. Click back to the Users tab, and you can see the details, you can see the graph, which we'll get into in a little bit later, or you can delete the user as mentioned before. Here we can see the dose chart for the assigned user of this PED. For this example, it is on a PEDIS. This chart will give you all the information you need to know to keep track of how much radiation the user is being exposed to. Now let's narrow down the dates on the top. Bear with me one moment as I go ahead and narrow everything down for you. Alright, February 2020. Okay, and as you can see, this gives you a clear depiction on how everything is broken down. On your left hand side, you will find the dose received. On the right, you will find the accumulated dose. And on the bottom, you will find the time. As mentioned before, the intelligent logging settings will automatically be set on the PED, as this gives you a clear image on how Dose Vision logs the data every 60 seconds. The green line tracks the accumulated dose, including time and date, and the orange bar graph will show you the dose received broken down by time and date as well. The graph you see before you is actually an example of the cosmic radiation you're being exposed to while traveling on an airplane. You can see as the plane is ascending, the exposure level goes up, then it stays relatively constant during the flight, and then the radiation levels go down as the plane begins to descend. Let's take a look at another example. I'll go back to the Users tab and click on Guy Martin. Guy Martin is a British motorcycle racer turned television presenter of engineering based projects. He and his team took our PED ER Plus on a tour to Chernobyl and here are the readings broken down by the periodic logging. Also the PED ER Plus has the capability of GPS logging. If we click on the globe on the right hand side of the screen, you'll be able to see the satellite view of all the GPS data logging points of his tour. You can zoom in and out and break everything down from alarms, dose, and dose rate readings. If you want to extract this data and keep a permanent record, there are various ways to do so. To print, click on the printer icon and you'll be able to print the graph breaking down how much radiation the user has been exposed to. Here is what that looks like. To generate a report in Word, click on the report icon, select the dates you'd like to look at, select your user, click view, and then it will populate the Traceco PED exposure report. You can also extract an Excel report by clicking export. Here you'll be able to see a few data options such as dose, dose rate, accumulated dose, and GPS dose rate. It'll also ask you how you want your report broken down if you want it broken down by minute hour or day. So let's go ahead and click on dose rate and let's have it broken down by minute and let's click export and this is what your report's going to be looking like. Also a special function of the Traceco PEDs is the capability to allow users to monitor dose and peak dose rate over particular time periods or tasks. Tasks are started in the task menu screen on the actual PED. Tasks will continue to record until stopped by the user. You can run an infinite number of tasks, but the four most recent tasks may be viewed through the details screen on the device. Note all task data logging periods will be displayed when the data is transferred and can be viewed in Dose Vision. Now let's take a look at an example. Let's go to the Users tab. Let's click on E and Mac and take a look at the graph. As you can see, on the top of the screen, you will see this purple line. Here, you can go ahead and view the task, and it will let you know the peak dose rate, the dose, and when the task was started, and when it ended. Last but not least, on the far right-hand side next to export, you will see a few viewing options. 
You can choose from dose, average dose rate, and peak dose rate. You can also include or exclude tasks, accumulated dose, and the dynamic access, as well as changing the time zone and the unit of measurement. Thank you all for tuning in to this dose vision tutorial. As mentioned before, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or anyone on the team, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. The team and I appreciate your support, and we look forward to continuing to be your radiation monitoring solution. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you.